how difficult was it traveling during the pandemic? Ah, hi Robert, long time. Nice to have you again. Um, it was not difficult at all. Um, you know, it was just... Uh, um, the only thing problematic is doing the test. So testing and paying for four people. So I pay 65 per person uh, on the Red Cross. Um, so you have to pay for everybody. Then uh, and then you have to pay when you come back. That's the that's the only the only issue. Ah. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you so much for. Uh, the super chat thank you so much for supporting this uh, one dollar per episode wow thank you so much for the support you are officially the new stream uh, royalty of April until somebody uh, takes your place so wow but the stakes are high. Starts with a hundred dollars. Yo, <laughs> listen. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I was telling you. Uh, so leaving Portugal was okay. So uh, we went from um, we went from from Lisbon to Istanbul. Uh, Istanbul, we stayed we stayed one night, and. Uh, then from Istanbul, we took another flight of five hours, seven hours, sorry, to Kinshasa. And uh, that's it. And then we had, uh, so, uh, listen, the airport in Istanbul was crazy. Like, it's crazy. Like, every airport I've been uh, when you, when you arrive in the Istanbul airport, every airport is pale in comparison to that airport. Uh, I know that unless uh, I, I think the Qatar one, the Dubai one are, are nice, and I also like the ones in Norway, Sweden. I like those airports, but in terms of function, the one from Istanbul, like open 24 7 it never closes it, this is crazy like uh, do i have wait i'm gonna see if i, st I still have my stories um let me see if i can show you yeah so, um, uh, I'm gonna do this. Go here, change app, unlock photos. So, this is me at 2 a.m. in the Istanbul airport. And look at this. It's 2 a.m. And I'm inside of a store. And I bought myself some stuff. And it's cheap as well. And good quality. All, all these videos will be in my vlog. And um, yeah, I was, I was looking at the time. 2 a.m. And I went to buy some socks and uh, um, you can buy some food as well anytime all night it's not like our airports that just close <laughs> you know they just close at, at, at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. There, 
I think they every store closed like for 20 minutes only. And then inside of the airport, you have this section here called the Yotel. And yeah, it's 500 bedrooms inside of the, the airport. Okay. Don't tell me that this thing. Look at this. So I, I booked two rooms inside. Outside of the airport, they offer you the rooms, but because we're in family, we have we were we we were ch with, a, with a kid. I'd, I'd rather just have my room inside of the airport. And the rooms were super nice. And you know, with a kid, yeah, it's much better. You know. With a kid, it's much better, you know. She can have a good night of sleep. Um, she can have a good night of sleep. You know, and then the next day, you're on, you're on your way to Kinshasa. So, you know, my mother did a, a great buffet for us. That's my dad. Some good makemba, chicken. Um, yeah, you know, that was that's the house, <laughs> the villa, the mansion, and uh, yeah, we'd have time to to talk about it. But um, yeah, listen, traveling was yeah easy. Traveling was easy peasy no nothing to really complain about um, it was just uh, it was it's just long I would say it's just it's just a little long uh, because because of, of, of all the travel you have to do when and, and the layover the only problem was that um, the next day when we woke up we check out the hotel and our flag got canceled for that's the problem with pandemic is sometimes the, the flight just cancel so uh, I had to book another night inside of the airport and uh, they're gonna refund me of course uh, so um, we stayed another day at the airport and then the next day we just took our flight so but other than that yeah nothing special and coming back same thing as long as you have your test you can prove that you, you tested negative for COVID and that you have your masks and stuff. Yeah, you know, traveling was traveling was uh, was fine. It was I. It's uh, nothing different from what I what I'm used to. I know I know that uh, there's some countries where you cannot go or you have to quarantine and stuff. But there, yeah, listen. Uh, something interesting um, when you land in Congo even if you have your test you have to test again but not in the nose on your throat they do a test when you arrive and you have to pay uh, before you fly you have to pay like uh, $50 per person uh, and it is what it is so when we arrive we, we queue again you enter this tent they call you by your names and you have your QR codes they scan your QR codes and then they check you and then uh, the next day you receive uh, an, an email and an SMS telling you if you are a negative or or not so at least you know and if you're not then uh, I don't know what happens probably they ask you to stay home or something I don't know but uh yeah it all came negative for us since we were negative before leaving so but yeah interesting you know 